Enduro is the most exciting and accessible form of mountain biking. It's just huge fun whether you're a beginner or experienced mountain biker. While all you really need is a bike, crashes can and do happen. So it pays to invest in some protection to keep you as safe as possible and ensure you keep riding and having fun. Here then are some top protective items to consider for your enduro outfit. The list here equally applies to casual trail riding or mountain bike holidays as it does for enduro racing. Helmets are an essential safety item for mountain bikers and for enduro there are three main choices to consider. Full face, open face and a two-in-one helmet with detachable chin guard. Which one you choose comes down to your personal preference, how demanding the enduro course you're riding is and if you're racing, the rules set down by the organisers. For enduro racing, a full face is often the preferred choice for ultimate all-round protection. Look for a lightweight helmet designed for enduro riding that offers superior ventilation and heat management compared to downhill style full face helmets. Full face helmets with removable chin guards offer the best of both worlds. Protection when you need it on a time stage and better ventilation and more comfort on pedaling untimed sections. It's way easier than carrying two helmets and when you're not racing you have a regular open face helmet. Open face helmets are preferred by skilled and confident riders who want more comfort, better ventilation and less weight and those that don't mind sacrificing the extra safety of a full face lid. Many organised events though won't let you compete with one so check the rules before you enter. If you're not racing and not pushing your limits an open face is a good choice and many now have much lower sides and rear for improved protection. After buying a helmet, full finger gloves are probably the most important purchase you can make. Gloves obviously protect your hands in a crash and they save losing loads of skin, but also protect you from scuffs and close encounters with trees and foliage, and also provide enhanced grip when you're sweaty, muddy or both. Choose from lightweight gloves that offer maximum ventilation or heavily armoured gloves if you want maximum protection with additional protection built into the back of the hand and over the knuckles. Gloves can have padded palms with gel inserts if you want additional comfort besides that offered by your grips. Gloves are also an important way to accessorise your outfit so you look good while going flat out. It ain't enduro if you're not wearing goggles. You might think the goggles look a bit silly, but they offer maximum eye protection when you're racing enduro, so you can concentrate on keeping your eye on the racing line and not filled with dust, mud or foliage. You can choose from a raft of designs, sizes and lens types, from clear for overcast days to tinted for sunny weather. Goggles fit best with full face helmets, but many open face helmets now better accommodate goggles, so they won't move about when you're on the limit. To pad up or not, that is the question. For enduro riding and racing, wearing pads is deemed by many as absolutely essential. Many enduro organisers require the use of body armour on condition of lining up at the start, with knee pads as the minimum and some requiring elbow and back protection too. Body armour has got a lot better since enduro racing emerged, with a renewed focus on making lightweight armour that you can pedal in all day without getting ridiculously hot. Technology like the insanely clever D3O, a rubber-like material that's soft and flexible during normal use, but instantly hardens upon impact, has helped to produce armour that's highly protective, yet really comfortable. With all pads, it's really important to get the sizing and fit right. The last thing you want are pads that slip and slide around when you're on full gas. Let's look at a few options and essentials. If you're going enduro racing, you definitely want to pad up and knee pads are the absolute minimum you want to invest in. Knee pads have come a long way in recent years and you can choose from hard shell designs which offer the most protection due to a hard plastic core to lightweight flexible pads that are comfortable enough to pedal in all day yet offer decent crash protection. Even if you don't plan to crash, Accidents happen and these often take the brunt of the impact. 
wearing knee pads can be the difference between continuing riding or abandoning the ride altogether. Even a small impact can cause tremendous pain and damage. After knee pads, we'd also recommend elbow pads for the same reason that even the smallest off can gash open an exposed elbow and ruin your ride or race. Lightweight pads allow a full range of unrestricted movement, while hard shell designs offer the best impact protection with a small trade-off in terms of comfort and heat management. If you don't want to take any chances and given how easily mistakes can lead to crashes when racing enduro, then a backplate, spine shield or chest protector could be a consideration for you. Some races like Meg Avalanche for example require torso body protection but often it's your choice. There's a full range of options from thickly padded armour suits to lightweight and comfortable chest protectors with hard shell and soft shell options. Chest protectors ward off rocks and other debris being flung into your chest while backplates protect your spine if you crash badly. The level of protection you choose comes down to how technical the course is and your confidence and ability levels. Some backpacks and hydration packs incorporate a spine protector, so if you need to carry a load of spares, food and water, this can boost your comfort while making sure you're protected. Your choice of baggy shorts and undershorts can also provide extra protection as well. Baggy shorts can be made from rugged, abrasion-resistant material to provide better crash protection than lightweight materials, and designed to accommodate knee pads and other body armour. You can also look at padded undershorts, which both provide padding for sitting comfortably on the saddle, ideal for big enduros with long pedaling transitions, and external armoured padding to protect your hips and thighs in a crash. Now you might think shoes are shoes, right? But did you know you can get shoes designed to provide better protection for your feet? It can be pretty painful smashing your big toe into a rock at high speed, let me tell you. Whether you prefer flats or clips, there are shoes that feature additional protection material, especially around the toe box, to protect from scuffs with rocks and roots. Some riders choose flat pedals for the freedom they offer, but clipped in provides more efficient pedaling power. There you go, there's our recommendation of protection you can wear when you're in enduro riding or racing. Let us know what protection you wear for your rides down in the comment section below.